Hey, Magic fans. Welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. We're back to you again today to talk about what Brothers War is doing. So this video is going to be filmed uh, late Sunday night of release weekend. So the time you see this will be Tuesday or Wednesday-ish. Some things may change, but I want to have a serious conversation with you guys about how well or not well Brothers War is going and is is or does it have investment potential? You know, we've talked a long time about how every everything that Wizards is doing is just plummeting the ground to a death spiral. Um, and Brothers War may make or break the company um, as far as can their products survive what they're doing. Um, and I'm not going to lie, there's some very interesting data uh, and things to take away from this whole conversation. So... Um, Stick around and listen close, and don't forget to tell me in the comments what you think, because, heck, everybody's got an opinion, right? Just like other things. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So let's start off with the black sheep of the family, and that would be Jumpstart for Brothers War. So you see the market price here says $85 from a high of 100 Jumpstart for Brothers War, like every set before it, it all the jump starts now come with every set, right? And there's only five unique cards that come in that box. The box only has like 18 packs in it. And much like the other ones, this one's even worse. They're, the jump start for the sets are plummeting to their death. And guess what? If you bought any of this stuff, you've just lost your money. You might as well fire sell it because no matter what, it's just trash why do i say that so this is the market price where it starts at 100 and now shows it uh sp spelunking around about 85 bucks but if you look at the actual sale price uh from tcg player i mean look at this right now it's below 70 the market price is 85 it's 15 being sold 15 dollars cheaper than market price and if you look at this look at the number of boxes that have been sold there are days almost weeks between box sellings and it's one box here one box there you, you go from 10 8 to a whole month at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 you sold 20 boxes in a month a month that's not even a box a day this stuff is at 70 it's gonna go lower if you have any of this stuff for the love of god put it on here as cheap as you can get it and get rid of it. I think the last time I checked it was sitting at 65 a box shipped. That's below what people were actually paying for it from distributors, I believe. This stuff is a toxic asset, and you should not buy Jumpstart that comes with any of these sets, especially this one. If you've bought this or are keeping any of it, you might as well put it back somewhere and wait 20 years. That's how long it's going to take for it to be worth anything, if it's even worth anything then. This is a complete toxic, toxic asset. And if you have it, I am so sorry. Luckily enough, I did not buy any of these as they came out with every set because I, they look suspicious. And I really just had this feeling it was just Wizards of the Coast trying to milk money out of players. So now, with that said, unlike the last video with 2022 Jumpstart we talked about, which was going to be probably good, this is trash. So don't do it. Now. With that said, let's look at the other things inside Brothers Ward and where they're sitting at sell-wise and, and value-wise. So here, you can see this is for a draft box. So it started out around 115. It's only went down to 105. That's still uh, pretty good pricing and about where the draft box, in my personal opinion, should be. 113 I thought was a bit too high. Um, but anywhere from 100, 105 out the door, uh, that seems about right. Um, and if you look at sales for draft boxes, uh, right here, like now, mind you, when I clip these, I clip from the most recent date all the way back. So starting on the 13th, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So about 16 columns here that I took a picture of out of these 16 boxes were all sold in a matter of two days. Um, unlike the last one we looked at, which was a whole month. So this shows a very strong sales inside TCG player alone for draft boxes of all things draft. 
So that's a good sign. That means people like it, they like playing it, and it's going well. So things looking up for draft because it ain't bottomed out yet. Next, we'll move on to set boosters. So set boosters has had a pretty wild ride, I ain't going to lie. They started out at 116, they went up, and then they dipped way down to a couple dollars under. But honestly, from an average of 116 to ending on an average of 116, even with the highs and lows only being a couple dollars, because if you look at it, $4 up, $4 down, that's not much of a swing. That is a good steady um, amount of money for these boxes. And if you look at the sales of these set boosters, uh, again, notice all these all say the 13th. I couldn't fit anything in here from another day. So like, and they're like, they're two, 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 like there's like 20 plus boxes just for today. When I made this video, the set boxes are selling well, and I mean, well, so it's really looking up for the product as a whole, uh, to be actually investable and actually hold itself. Now in a matter of week, two weeks, after release, we may have to have another conversation about this. But previous boxes have not sold this strong at release since Neon Dynasty. Um, and it's also going to be a question of whether more boxes come to market, whether Wizards does a big flash sale during Prime Day, and lots of other things. You know, I think after the Thanksgiving um, holiday, it'll really show how strong these boxes are going to be. Because after all the sales and everything is when we're going to get some real data after everything hits the market and everything gets bought up from Christmas money. So next, let's talk about collector boosters. Now, I always thought 235 was way too high for these. So they're floating around. The market value right now is 209. I think that's a pretty good market value. That's about right. 225, 229, 235 is obviously way too high. Now they have dipped down, but notice they've started stabilizing here in the last couple days, last month, what have you. I think a lot of that comes from people trying to mark them up at 235 and nobody ever really buys them at that. So they put them on 235 and then as the days pass and more people start listing them for actual real prices, which is around the 209, 210 range, people have to start bringing their prices down and then you actually get real pricing. About 210 is what the collector, bo the collector, box, uh, collector booster box should be when it comes out. So I'm not surprised by this at all. And to me, it looks like it's holding value. Because if you take this um, and you look through the actual sales, like if I go back to the day, like 208 happened today, but also happened today was 12s, one another 8, 12. So people are putting these on the market and people are buying them. And they're buying lots. There's 6, 2, like 2, 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 collector boosters have sold in a day. And this isn't the whole list, right? There's more, guys. There's a lot more. This shows me strong market value where the market's actually accepting and absorbing this product. And that's that signals something very strong for the Brothers War market, especially for collector boxes. Because if we start looking at things in the collector box, you know, if we look here, these are collector cases. So collector box case. So from 11.5 to 13, that's only seven days. Cases of this have been selling for $1,200 roughly minus some change. And these are cases of six guys. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And those are cases of six. So like that's six times the amount of the other listings. So it shows to me that this is a strong product. People want it. People are absorbing it. Um, and it, I don't think it's the point where um, people don't want this product. I think it's to the point where people are looking for values, looking for deals, looking for prices to drop, um, waiting for sales for Christmas. Uh, some people are getting impatient and not waiting because they're scared prices may go up because they're not seeing the dip that they're used to. But there are going to be those some people that just hang back and just wait, um, and they might get burned if this doesn't go down like people expect it to. So why does the collector booster box hold so much value? Well, here's one: you can in the collector booster box you can only get these shatter frame Autobots, right? And yeah, this is you know it's ratchet, it's five bucks. If you get one that's foil from the collector box, five hundred dollars. 
Is that insane? And and this is just one of the card values. A four dollar per card. That if it's foil is four seventy five. Optimus Prime is like five hundred dollars. I think Megatron's five hundred dollars. Like these in foil are hard to get, and people want them. Like it. This makes the collector box super valuable because these are actual cards people can play. They are usable, um, and they are sweet as well because they're transformed. I think people really underplay the transformer part of it about how sweet they're being. And also, let's not forget too, serialized cards are also in these collector boxes and only the collector boxes. And you may think to yourselves, well, serialized cards, yeah, they're probably worth a little bit, a little bit extra money, but how much could they really be worth? Well, if you check eBay, you see things like this. Cheapest one, 750, buy it now. 1200, buy it now. 13 buy it now now mind you this adaptive automations like this is the bad one it's 750 and Iker wellsprings 1200 quicksilver amulet 13 imagine a good card like these serialized cards are apparently thousand dollar cards um and if the market holds that let's say the market doesn't hold they go down to uh, they go down to uh 500 which i think is a little low since the transformer ones are 500 like this makes open collector boosters very, very um, appetizing because you can get a card to pay for a whole case. So like if you open a case of collector boosters, which I will on the channel, and I pull one serialized card, guess what? I just paid for that whole case without looking at any other cards in it. That doesn't count any of the transformer foils, shattered uh Shatterverse foils from Transformers that are $500 a card. Like, this could get crazy. These collector booster boxes could be what's worth opening and doing mass box openings if people have that kind of thing for these serialized cards. These serialized cards could be the thing that saves magic if these prices hold. And if they do, we could be looking at a revolution in this game uh, moving forward. As they make more cards. So with that said guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. Remember comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. The comments down below is going to feed the YouTube algorithm. Tell me what you think about this product. Do you think it's going to keep going to zero? Do you have faith it's going to save the market? Or do you think this is the first in a long line of better investable products from Wizards of the Coast. With serialized cards being the pseudo reserve list. Because there's so many that you can't. That's so many you can get. And then that's it. So with that said, uh, also, guys, you know, if you haven't subbed up, now is a good time. Those of you who have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate you. Uh, don't forget to check out links to the eBay store, Patreon page, and my email in the description. If you just want to reach out and say, hey, hey. Um, until next time, be kind. And I hope to see you across from the game table.